and create a structured methodology to use these ideas with the help of a concept map. For this, I would like to invite once again, our uh, resource person, Dr. Gulshan Mufid, who will be giving us a demo and training session on an interesting concept mapping tool. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Prakshi, ma'am. And once again, hello to everyone. So now we uh, again in the same se uh, session of creation of graphics, we are covering another ICT tool, which is visual understanding environment. And in short, we can uh, call it view, V U E. So I'm just sharing my presentation first, then we will do a hands-on session on it. So we are having a group of uh, participants who are teachers also. So as a teacher, you always teach your students a topic or you make them understand a concept. And for making them understand a concept in a much easier way, you can, you must be creating some kind of diagram or some kind of uh, you may be using a, some kind of concept map so that you can easily make them clear about that particular topic or particular concept so uh, because you are doing uh, this exercise uh, uh, in your class may i ask you that according to you what are the concept maps? And if whether you have used the concept map in your classroom, not as an ICT tool, but uh, you can use, a, you can draw a concept map on your blackboards also. So have you done this practice in your classroom? And what do you understand by this term concept maps? You can write your responses in the chat box also. Yes, you can show the relationships of uh, the main concept with the sub concept. And of course, yes, right. You can link the main idea with the sub themes, okay. It makes the concept easy, yes, of, yes, right? Concept maps could be the flow chart, yes, visual representation of information. <clears throat> That's really great. Uh, okay, uh, you can make your students understand and you can easily communicate to them. Yes, you can, uh, you organize representation of a topic, very good, in the form of table of chart, yes, in the form of table and chart also, we can uh, represent the data. Of yes, right. So by with your responses, I can make out that all of you have used uh, the concept maps in your classroom. So let's first discuss uh, what is the meaning of concept. Whenever you are explaining any concept to your <clears throat> classroom, whenever you are explaining any concept to your children, the concepts are usually the abstract ideas, which uh, are not very easy to understand, which uh, the ideas which they have to, the students have to visualize the, uh, they are not in a concrete form, those ideas in the abstract form, and you use the uh, like, uh, you use the concept maps to make them understand 
easily those abstract ideas so concepts could be the abstract ideas or the general notions that occurs in the mind in the speech or in the thought okay here i have given some examples of uh, abstract concepts uh, for example bravery it is a concept which you can uh, if you want your uh, students understand about this concept of bravery you can uh, tell them the story based on uh, the bravery or stories of the brave persons or you can uh, if you want to under make them understand about the different dance forms in uh, india you can uh, show some uh, pictures to them because uh, and, uh, normally every student is not familiar of or, or not every person is familiar of the uh, various dan dance forms in india and if you want to understand there are more concepts that is happiness money time values etc which you want your students to understand and these all are the abstract ideas these are the abstract terms and if you want to uh, make them understand these abstract terms you can take help of the concept maps and obviously as uh, you have just um, uh, written in the text box that the con uh, the uh, concept maps can be drawn with the help of relationships and you must have a main idea the central idea and the sub ideas to explain a particular concept so here is an example of concept map which i have shown in this slide it starts with a main idea with a central idea and then it breaks down into the sub ideas and these sub ideas are connected with the central idea and it <clears throat> can be drawn in the form of flow chart also where you can break down your main concept and uh, make the concept easy for the students to uh, so that they can understand it in a better manner here you as you can see that uh, it is an example of concept map showing the climatic changes so in this concept map there are three subtopics sub uh, there are three sub concepts which are the causes the solutions and the evidences and these subtopics again breaks down into sub subtopics for example causes uh, of a climatic change i have shown here as the human activities and the normal uh, natural environmental changes again you can see the evidence uh, of climatic change uh, again uh, breaks down into uh, small topics uh, which is melting glaciers increase in extreme weather warming of uh, oceans and similarly the solutions are also <clears throat> many solutions are there uh, for example further research change in human behavior reduce uh, reducing a burning of fossil fuels explore renewable energy uh, sources so uh, for e explaining this particular concept which is climatic change i have tried to <clears throat> uh, draw a concept map so that we can easily explain this topic to uh, our students and this we have drawn with the help of subtopics which are shown in the shape of uh, uh, in the oval shape and again uh, we have broken this subtopic into sub subtopics and connected this sub uh, sub subtopics with the uh, sub theme with the help of these relationship lines so the main components of a concept maps are the relationship lines and the main concept which we are going to explain to our students these relationship lines could be shown <clears throat> in the form of arrows and we call these arrows as the cross links and concepts can be shown in the shape of circle in the shape of ovals in the shape of bo boxes and we call this uh, these shapes as the nodes so every concept uh, concept map has nodes and relationship lines 
So these are the same examples of concept map where a central idea is broken into the sub ideas and further the sub ideas is broken into sub sub ideas sub concept the type of concept uh, concept maps concept maps can be drawn in the shape of a spider map here you can see this map it looks like a spider as a spider has many legs this uh, concept map is also going into uh, in the similar manner and it is going um, uh, to the left side also the right side also to the uh, downward also uh, arrows also you can see and it looks like a spider concept maps could also be in the shape of flow charts they could be drawn as the hierarchy map also and the system map so these are the few example of uh, concept maps now the basic question which usually arises is what is the difference between a mind map and a concept map so if you observe this slide and if you see this slide you can get an idea what is the difference between a mind map and a concept map may i know from your responses in the chat box what you are able to see what is the difference between mind map and a concept map right mind map is centralized only to the main idea yes and a concept map has many concepts we no there could be a linking word in the mind map also there could be a linking word it depends how you are uh, drawing your mind map but the main difference is that we are uh, we explain only one concept in the mind map and a concept map has many concepts we can have sub concepts we can have sub sub concepts in the concept map so it is much elaborate uh, we can uh, draw a concept map in a elaborated manner so here are some online concept mapping tools for example bubble.us poplet mind map creately coggle lucid chart mind mister mind domo spider scribe and there are many more online concept map mapping tools which you can use some free and open source concept mapping tools are free mind edro mind map dossia visual understanding environment free plane coggle x mind wise mapping mind for two 3d topic escape so these uh, were the uh, some uh, free and open source mind mapping tools and where we can use the concept mapping if you use uh, the concept mapping in your classroom your learners won't be a uh, passive learners you can include your learners into the discussion and you can take their ideas for creating a concept map you can take their ideas you can <clears throat> uh, draw the concept map as per their ideas what they are thinking and uh, what they want to share with you regarding that particular concept you can uh, take their knowledge also and you can involve your learners in a active manner in the concept mapping uh, also you can uh, involve their uh, involve your learners involve your students to organize and present their learning uh, into a very organized manner so if you ask uh, their views suppose you are taking a to topic and uh, you are creating a concept map by taking 
the ideas of your students you can definitely take their knowledge and you can organize their ideas in a much clear manner and a much uh, uh, attractive manner and students will also be uh, will also feel happy if you use their ideas for creating a, a concept map and they can learn in a better manner also these are again uh, some concept mapping tools and uh, this slide shows the comparison between the mapping uh, concept mapping tools in terms of platform on which you can use these tools the use of these tools and the uh, imported export files so you can just have a look on this slide only uh, the edro mind first uh, mind mapping tool you can use it on windows platform uh, the mac version you can use it linux version android version ios and it is uh, the web based version is also available for edro mind and where you can use this tool you can use it for mind mapping brainstorming presentation project management making outlines team collaboration and the imported export files which are used uh, for this tool our word html markdown mind um, mind manager x mind free mind and the comparison of other tools are also given in this slide just have a look on this only this is the second slide showing the comparison of uh, the mind mapping tools let's start with the visual understanding environment it is an open source project uh, which is developed by academic technology group at tufts university so this uh, uh, ict tool it is an open source project and it is developed by uh, academy academic technology group at tufts university so whenever you are going to download this um, uh, tool on your uh, laptop or on your pc it will show that this tool is developed by uh, the tufts university a visual understanding environment provides feature of creating mind maps and uh, charts easily format and interpret items this we have discussed and again this uh, visual understanding environment is an application for concept and content map mapping for students academicians ceos managers and writers that provides a simple yet powerful tool so that uh, now it is easy uh, uh, to understand that this is not a tool which is used only into the education field it could be used in any area anyone can use it the academicians the ceos the managers the authors or the writers they or uh, everyone can use uh, this tool so this is not limited to Uh, the education field only we have discussed this that visual understanding environment is a concept and content mapping tool application developed to support teaching learning and research and for anyone who needs to organize contextualize and access digital information and when we create a concept map using this application uh, the visual understanding uh, environment uh, we organize the digital information and this digital information is not in a linear way so if we create a concept map using this application uh, <clears throat> you can draw it in uh, uh, your just uh, sub concepts go, uh, can you can draw it any direction it is not in a linear way the information you can uh, cannot draw in a linear way it is a flexible tool which help uh, teachers and st students to integrate organize and contextualize electronic content in their work 
Digital content can be accessed through the web and with the help of view resource panel. This we will see when uh, we will uh, use this tool. And it also helps to develop higher order thinking skills, uh, including analytical uh, skills. Is, uh, it is all uh, the theory about this tool. Obviously, if you use the concept map, uh, the students can organize their knowledge uh, in a proper manner. Features of visual understanding environment. It has annotated trails. Whenever you create uh, a concept map and you uh, you expand that uh, central topic, you use the relationship lines. And the more you use those relationships lines to clarify the concept, it becomes clear for students to uh, understand uh, the particular uh, concept. So we can say that. Uh, the presenter, uh, it allows the presenter to create annotated trails through their maps. And it also has a feature of slide view. Visual understanding environment can be used by anyone interested in the visual structuring of digital content, which uh, this we have discussed. So now this is the homepage uh, of, uh, uh, no, it, it is not the homepage. Uh, if you want to download the this application to your laptop or to your PC, you will see this screen after searching the visual understanding environment into the uh, Google Chrome. First, you have to search, or uh, just simply write visual understanding environment in your uh, Google Chrome browser, and then you will get this screen. Now I will show you how you can download this application to your PC. Give me a second, please. <clears throat> Simply write visual understanding environment. And here you can see uh, the link. Visual understanding environment, the uh, uh, first link, it, uh, you can go to this website, uh, vue.tufts.edu. Just click on it. The similar screen, screen uh, appears here. And it is asking for you to download and it is also showing the version of your operating system. So uh, normally we all use Windows operating system. <clears throat> so we click on the download button and select the download, download version for Windows. So on the top uh, uh, bottom of this screen, uh, you will be able to see that the files are getting downloaded. This installer is downloading. Now open this installer.
click w view installer dot exe and you can see all the files have started downloading now this dialog box will appear it will ask you to run or to cancel the application just click on the run button I hope you all are going with me. You all are installing this application. So you will get. Uh, how to make view or how to download view? Um, Manika Devji, you are asking. We have not started making an uh, uh, making any concept map. Okay. Just choose uh, the operating system for which you want to download it. If you are using Windows and uh, just click on download view for Windows. If you are using the Mac operating system, uh, operating system, then you can uh, download view for Mac OS. All of you have downloaded this version. So I'll uh, start how to create concept map. Till now, if there is any question you can ask, please. If there is any uh, query, you can ask. I'm checking the chat box also. Kindly go for the Windows version. Uh, Ajoy Sankar sir. Okay, I'm showing you the process of downloading again as per your request.
search for visual understanding environment Is it visible to all? Just click on the first link which is appearing on your screen uh, under this website vue.tufts.edu. Click on visual understanding environment. This meeting is being recorded. So it is asking for you to download. Click on the download button and again it will ask you for the operating system. Uh, you can choose the operating system which you we are uh, which you are using. <clears throat> uh, suppose I am using Windows version, uh, Windows operating system. So I will select this download view for Windows. Here you can see. At the bottom of my screen, the files are getting downloaded. After its completion, just click on this zip folder. A dialog box will appear. It will uh, ask uh, just this. This is small dialog box. It will ask that purchase uh, win RAR license. Just uh, uh, cross this button and remove this dialog box and <clears throat> click on the installer. Just double click on it, and you can see this application is asking for. Uh, to run or to cancel, just click on the run button. No, it is not a mobile application. So you have to use it on your laptop or your PC. Now you can see a dialog box will again appear and it will ask you to install all the files. Just click on the install button. Um, ma'am, uh, Priyakshi ma'am, please ensure if my screen is visible. Yes, ma'am, your screen is visible. Or Am I on, on the same first page of? You are on the web page where uh, the download, I mean, how to download VUE. Hmm. 
the download page is visible are you sharing any ppt or no, the view no, application no, no. the application no no the application is not visible Ma'am, you can uh, stop sharing the screen and then again uh, reshare by selecting the application. That should work. Yeah, okay. But the application has started downloading in my, on uh, this uh, uh, on my PC. Just no, we are only able to see your uh, web page. Okay. Are the participants <clears throat> able to download this uh, application or not? Majority of the participants have installed the software, as okay. I can see from That's the right. chat coding in the chat box. After downloading the application, you will come to this empty map area where you will be able to create your concert map. So I hope everyone has come to this uh, empty map area after downloading this application. Okay. Just open this empty map area, then we will start drawing. Okay, thank you. Thanks for responding. Great, now let's start with our concert map. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, this is the menu bar of uh, this application and it has a menu of file uh, option edit option uh, view option under file option uh, you will see the similar options uh, which are available on in other applications also uh, the edit option is there view option is there format option is there uh, with the help of this format option, you can format your nodes. You can uh, change the font. You can add the images, links. You can align your concert map, etc. And the other uh, menu uh, shows uh, the content uh, content menu, and it has the option of adding node or adding uh, text, etc. There are many more features also. And uh, under Windows option, you can find the formatting palette. You can uh, add the information to your concept map. Uh, you can uh, find many options under this Windows uh, menu. And under this menu bar, you can see the drawing toolbar. This is the arrow button, which is a selection tool. This is the node tool with the help of which you can create the nodes into your concert map. And these are the linking tools. This is the rapid prototyping tool. Uh, with the help of this tool, you can add the linking line and the uh, <clears throat> nodes uh, into your uh, this concert map. You can add the text to your concert map with the help of this text tool. You can zoom in and zoom out with the help of this zoom tool. You can move the whole canvas with the help of this hand tool. And this is the play black, uh, playback uh, slide button. You can play all the slides which you have created uh, uh, in your concert map uh, with the help of this uh, playback slide button. So let's start. Today we are going to draw 
a concept map which shows the air pollution so for creating a concept map as we have discussed there must be a central idea the central idea which which we are going to explain so this is our central idea today suppose i am teaching my class the causes of air pollution okay there could be many reasons of air pollution the reason could be natural sources <clears throat> the reason could be human activities humans are also the the reason for air pollution the reason could be the use of machines now we will connect the main concept with the sub concept with the help of this relationship line we have to first select this linking tool and then come to our map area now start connecting the main concept with the sub concept here you can see an option of linking word so if you want to add a linking word then you can add here and if you don't want to add anything there is no need of adding uh, any linking word then you have to simply click anywhere on the map area just click it and it will disappear now we are connecting the main concept with the sub concept okay so now let's define what are the natural sources which causes air pollution <clears throat> the causes uh, the natural sources could be it could be forest fires it could be volcanic eruption and what are the causes of human activities again just simply draw the sub concept first and then connect this sub concept to the main concept human activities if we say it could be power plants it could be use of automobiles and the use of machines under this use of machines we have sub concepts like machines could be the air conditioners the excessive use of air conditioners it 
also causes the air pollution. The refrigerators. Now we have drawn the sub sub concepts. Let's connect this sub concept with the related sub sub concepts. You can draw along with me also. I hope now it's clear. So now if you have a look on this concept map, it is explaining a main concept and the sub concept connecting with the sub sub concepts but you won't be able to identify which is the main concept which you are breaking into the smaller ideas or the smaller sub concept so just to uh, make this thing clear and make our concept map more uh, attractive to students more clear to students we can edit this concept map and we can use the formatting tools uh, to make this thing clear so that uh, anyone can identify which is the main concept you are explaining uh, which you are trying to explain okay because you uh, you can see all the nodes are in a similar color we can change the color and we can make our concept map much clearer so just uh, select the main concept first by clicking on this arrow button it is the selection tool and go to the windows menu under windows menu we will find the formatting palette under this formatting palette you can see the fill color option the select the color of your choice and you can see the color has changed now Similarly, you can also uh, select this sub concept and change its color. We want to show this uh, uh, this sub concept of natural resources into a different color. Just select this one node and uh, another node by pressing the control button from your keyboard and go to the color option. Select the color of your choice. Again, the next sub concept you want to show in a different color, select it first and then go to the fill color option, take a different color. The third sub concept, just click on it, select the other sub concepts also by pressing the control button from your keyboard, go to the fill color option and select the color of your choice. Now you can see the main concept is on uh, is in a separate color and these sub concepts are in different colors and you can easily identify the three causes of air pollution. You can also change the shape of your linking lines. You can 
draw them into a curved manner also. For example, I'll show you, uh, just select this curved line, uh, select your this relationship line. First, go to the formatting palette and select this line option and just click on the curved line. It will turn into a curved arrow. So in this manner, you can make your concept map more attractive. You can also change the font style with the help of this. Uh, there is a lot of choices of fonts also here. You can take any font style. Suppose I'm taking this Calibri and I am just resizing the font because it is the main concept. I am just uh, making it a little bigger. You can also select your whole concept map and you can resize it. There is one more feature in this application. Which is adding more information to your nodes. So if you want to add more nodes to your uh, uh, this particular node, just uh, select this node, simply click on it and select this node. And if you want to add more information, uh, just right click on it and select the option of adding nodes. Here you can see one more dialog box will appear and it is asking for the nodes, nodes for the node. For this particular node, you want to add some more information. You can add this information here. You can, I'm just typing uh, random words here. You can add a meaningful uh, information to this particular node and close this dialog box. Now you can see a little symbol of pencil will appear here after adding notes to it. And whenever you just bring your cursor to this uh, symbol, it will show the additional information which you have added to this node. Again, you can add keywords to particular nodes. You can add URL to this node. You can add image files to the nodes. Okay. So, there is a lot of uh, option. There is a lot of scope of, of adding more information to your concept map <clears throat> or to your uh, nodes of your uh, uh, concept maps so that you can give more and more information. You can uh, share more and more information and you can elaborate your uh, concept map with the help of these additional information. So till now, if you are having any question, you can ask. How to connect one another by arrow? Okay. I will show you. You can draw a node with the help of this node tool. Now I want to add a relationship line and I want to connect uh, the forest wires uh, node to this a node which I have just created. Then go uh, for drawing the relationship line, you have to select the linking tool, the third button in the drawing tool. Click on the node, which you want to connect with the another node and just drag your cursor. Okay, leave your cursor 
and then click anywhere on the screen this linking word the uh, this linking word which is appearing here uh, between the arrow will disappear and if you want to add additional information a linking word if you want to create then you have to double click on this arrow the uh, linking word will again appear is it clear ma'am Yes, you can copy your concept map and paste it uh, on the PowerPoint presentation. Then you can present it in uh, the form of PPT also. Here in this uh, concept mapping tool, uh, let me check if there is an op option of animation. See. If we click on this uh, play back slide, it will appear like this. But if we if you create many slides of uh, uh, this concept map, if you uh, right now I have created only one slide. If you create many slides and then you click on this play back uh, slide button, it will appear as an animation one by one. It uh, the slides will come. No, the pages will be different because you you will create the layers of concept map. You will create many uh, pages, uh, um, so it will appear like an animation. In the same page, no, it, it is not possible on the same page. Let's see how you can save your concept map. Just simply go to the file menu. Click on save as. Just choose the location where you want to save your concept map. Suppose I want to save it on my desktop. And then by default, the extension of view is v u e and the format it depends upon the usage of the uh, this concept map where you are using you can choose the format in which you want to save you can save it as html as pdf as jpeg as png and other formats are also available there so Suppose I'm selecting the JPEG format and I'm saving it. My image will save as an image on my desktop. You can also try this. Uh, for removing the unwanted part, just select the node or select the relationship line and uh, press the delete button from your uh, keyboard. To import image, you have to select on the particular node. So wait, I'll show you. Suppose I'm, a, I'm teaching a, a topic of social science and I am going to show my student how earth looks like. Suppose I'm creating a, a concept map on earth and I will, I just say one image 
from here. So I've saved this one image on my desktop and I want to add this on my uh, concert map. I simply click on the node where I wanted to add this image. Just right click on this node and you will get this dialog box and uh, click on the add image option. Here you can see on my desktop, the image which I have just saved. Yeah, this one, the blue marble. Let's open it. The image will appear here just like this. So whenever you bring your cursor here, it will show you the image you have added to your node. Uh, Gulshan ma'am, just wanted to give you a time check. Hmm. We are left with another 15 minutes. And then we'll wind up. Okay. Thank you, Prakshi ma'am. I hope the query is answered now. How to remove overwriting. Just remove the text overriding means. I think they are trying to say if the node, uh, if the uh, node is uh, smaller as compared to the text, then how to resize it? I think that is the question that the participant is trying to ask. So before that, you have to just select this node and uh, you can resize it according to your text. Okay. You can move it also as per your need. I think that answers both the question on how to resize it and uh, how to remove overwriting. I think that's about it. So dear participants, do you have, okay. Can, no, simply click on it. And it will, the node will get selected. Uh, you can see uh, it is selected now and just by, uh, with the help of your uh, mouse or with the help of your touchpad uh, of your uh, laptops, you can uh, resize it. So there's right. one more question. How will I change the color of the nodes? Okay. Just select the particular node you want to uh, change the color of and uh, go to the windows menu. Here you will find the formatting palette and under formatting palette, here is the fill option. With the help of this fill option, you can change. Uh, you can change the color. You can change the color with the help of this. Option. So there is one more question. Can we add additional note and picture in one box? In one box, no, it's yes. not possible to add one uh, more node into a, a box. No, no, additional yes. text and picture in one box. Is that possible? Yes, I've just told that. Just right click here on the particular node you want to add nodes uh, and uh, click on this add note option. A dial dialog box will appear. Here you can add the nodes, okay? Whatever you want to add. Just close it. The additional nodes will appear here. Is it clear? I think I answered the query. Okay. So if you just click on this uh, 
Let's see. I have added nodes here in this node. Just click on this pencil icon and the dialog box will appear where you have added the nodes for your students. Is it clear? So there's one more question, how to remove line? I just simply select the line and delete it. Delete it from the uh, delete button uh, from your keyboard. Add animation effect to the content. You can try adding uh, animated picture to your node. I have just uh, added one uh, static picture in uh, this node of Earth. Uh, you can try adding uh, animated pictures <clears throat> to your node. Add color, I have answered already. You can add color uh, with the help of this Windows palette. Under Windows option, you will find the formatting palette and uh, there are many formatting options, many. You can change the shape of your nodes. You can change the shape of your lines. You can change the color of your node. You can change the color of lines, relationship lines. You can change the, the design of your uh, uh, relationship lines and you can change the text the font style, you can change the font size, the style, and you can make it bold, italics, and uh, underline, you can number your, uh, uh, you can add the bullets to your text, etc. There are many formatting features. Yes, it's very easy to use. I hope you all will explore this. And if you have creating, uh, created any mind map, then you can share with us. We have few minutes left only. We can take a one or two mind map if you wish. So is there any okay. participant? Sorry. No, no. If any more questions uh, are there from your side, you can ask. There are no more questions. I was just asking the participants if anyone created any mind map uh, in the uh, course of the session. So uh, if anyone would like to volunteer, we could have one or two mind maps as uh, sample references for everyone to see. Mm -hmm. Any participant who would like to present? Okay, I can see Survi ma'am has raised her hand. All right, Survi ma'am, you can go ahead and share your... Okay. I think that must have been my mistake. So I've given a uh, share screen access to the participants if anyone would like to share their uh, mind map or concept map, you can do that. Okay, there's one more question, ma'am, in formatting, how do we use stroke and weight? Uh, I would uh, like to ask them to share their screen, uh, who have asked this question, and try it once. It is all about exploring. Exploring new options, adding ideas to your uh, uh, concept map. It is all depends on you. So kindly explore that option, which uh, you have just asked. So that's a concept map on air pollution by uh, Manash Pratim Dekaji. Right. So uh, I can see that Monica ma'am has raised her hand. Uh, Monica ma'am, you want to say something? Uh, yes. 
uh, I only want to add here that everyone, please make your mind maps and also create your infographics because that is going to be a part of your assignment. I wanted to mention this in the previous session also because if you are not creating parallelly, you will not be able to resolve your queries and while submitting assignment, you might face certain difficulties. So please keep preparing and also exporting them as PDF or image as the tool requires. So please do take an output for your assignment submission. That is it, what I wanted to add. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. So dear participants, I will reiterate so, Monica Ma'am's point once again. Please be active and parallelly create the resources and explore the tools that are being uh, I mean, shown throughout the session in this training. Thank you. Over to you, Gulshan Ma'am. Please carry on. Yes, so to, uh, so to the query, uh, uh, one has asked about how to use a stroke and weight. Yes. This I have left for you. <laughs> but as uh, you haven't tried it, I just, uh, I'm explaining you. Simply, uh, I have told you that uh, with the help of this stroke option, you can change the design of your lines. And you by, uh, by choosing the weight option, you can make your lines or your nodes bolder. Okay, so like uh, I have selected one uh, relationship line and I have chosen this uh, uh, 3px. I am uh, I am just uh, adding more weight to this line. Then you can see the strokes I have chosen. It is now visible on this uh, relationship line, and it is also visible as a bolder line. Okay, so by clicking the weight button, uh, the weight option, you can make your lines much bolder. And you can also change the stroke style of your relationship lines. Like if you want to show it in a dotted manner, you can change it. Okay. I hope it is clear. Okay, thank you. So I believe uh, that those were the only questions that were being raised by the participants. And I can see that a lot of uh, view mind maps are being posted in the chat box. So it clearly shows that the participants were actively following this engaging session and practicing along with uh, you, ma'am. So uh, anything else, Kulshan ma'am, that you would like to share with our participants before we close this session? I would only request you all to just try the concept maps with the help of visual understanding environment and explore it more and share your work with us. And thanks for such a nice listener and such a nice participants. All right. So the question, ma'am, I would like to extend my thanks to you for taking our participants through such an engaging session and making uh, the concept map, the idea of concept map and the way of using these tools seamless and easy by clearing their doubts. And you give them so much clarity that I could see the mind maps that were being shared in the chat box. So I think it was a great session. Thank you once again, Gulshan ma'am. And to all the participants, keep exploring, keep creating, keep uh, clarifying your students' concepts. And I'm sure that you will have, so we often say that we add feathers to our caps, but here you'll be adding tools to your power of creating resources one after the, after, one after the other as we proceed with our sessions here on. So thank you very much participants for being such engaged, for being engaged and patient throughout. And since it's about to be one, we are going to take a break for lunch now and we will